In other news, Zimbabwe, meanwhile, says it has contained a typhoid outbreak in the capital of Harare. City authorities say they remain on high alert to prevent new infections, and this as Greater Harare is without water for the next three days. The water has been turned off for repairs to the water infrastructure. The city has put out warnings in potential hotspots after confirming cases of typhoid. It says of the six cases, one has come from Hopley, a sprawling settlement south of Harare, where residents don't have tap water in their homes. The city has sunk boreholes here, but many still choose to expose themselves to illness by using shallow wells. She says, I contracted typhoid last year, so I draw borehole water for drinking, but for washing clothes I use water from shallow wells, but I can't be sure it's safe. Even borehole water has green things floating in it. There's so few of them and too many people trying to draw water. We use water purification pills, but I don't see the use because the water is dirty. With the confirmed sufferers under quarantine, the city of Harare says the disease has been contained. Once we get to 30 cases in one area, then it, it qualifies to be called an outbreak. What we have are just six cases that were reported, three in Glenora, one in Hopley and the other one in Hatfield. We have dispatched medical teams in those areas to go and investigate the magnitude of the cases so that we try and avoid any further spread of the disease. And we've also made a point of ensuring that in those areas that are affected by the uh, typhoid cases, we ensure that we provide water bowsers so that the residents have access to safe water. This as the municipality turns off the water for the weekend. It's the first of the city-wide shutdowns planned for the next six months as the city undertakes major rehabilitation of the Morton Jeffrey Waterworks. But we remain on high alert, as you said, because of the rains and also because of the water cuts that we're experiencing due to the refurbishment of the Morton Jeffrey Waterworks. Zimbabwe has in the past been hit by waterborne diseases. A major outbreak of cholera in 2008 killed over 4,000 people. The city says a recent outbreak of diarrhea, which affected 48 learners at Roosevelt High School in Harare, was caused by poor food management. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.